Thank you. Uh, I'm concerned about the impact of legislation. The things that the subjects are within the, the remit of politicians. And what I've noticed since I've been an MEP is an outright assault on pesticides in general, sometimes with no good reason. Glyphosate is now hanging by a thread. If that is banned in the next few years, it is going to make us very uncompetitive with the rest of the world. Neonicotinoids have already been banned in some circumstances, but we have a vote coming up, I believe, in June, while the Bulgarian minister ha has the presidency, and this is on whether we can use neonicotinoid seed dressings on crops that are not harvested uh, after they before, that are harvested before they flower. All logic and common sense says that this should continue to be allowed to happen. But the Green Lobby is hell-bent on cancelling these things, stopping them, banning them. And yet, the organic farmers use a material called copper sulfate, which is just as bad as any material that non-organic farmers use uh, as regards neonicotinoids, etc. And yet the Commission have said this is safe to use. There is such an inconsistency here. This is no way to run an agricultural policy. Uh, somebody from Sweden raised the issue of antimicrobial resistance. This is very, very important. Millions of lives are at stake here. I would suggest that money is kept aside under Pillar 2 to assist poultry and pig producers in increasing their biosecurity because this will help. You may even be able to set up a fund uh, to pay out farmers who cull their animals rather than using uh, antibiotics. This, I think, is logical, it's common sense, it, it's constructive. Don't worry about 30 or 40 euros per hectare for, for young farmers. That is irrelevant. What I've been talking about is really important. Thank you.